Hi, you are watching Kolsky Drones. Welcome back. Today we've got the FQ35 from FQ777. It's a great foldable drone. Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drones. So today we've got another drone from FQ777. This is the FQ35. A couple of weeks ago I reviewed the FQ40. I was quite unimpressed. It was a Mavic Air clone. Uh, it didn't have foldable arms and it didn't fly very well at all. This is virtually a Vizio. Well, it looks like a Vizio. It looks a little bit different, but there's not that much difference. Let me show you what you get in the box. You get the instruction manual. It's really nicely boxed, actually. You get the drone itself. You get the controller. Set of propeller guards. You get four of those. And you get a bag of spare props and the charging cable for the battery so let's have a look at what the main bits so here's the drone so as you can see it's fold out drone locks in by some little interference catches there now the main difference between this and the Vizio it's slightly thinner here and the motor pods are different the motor pods are a different shape and they just didn't have a cut out the Vizio is a little bit you can see, either completely see through. And it's got fake motors to give you the look like it's got brushless motors. But it is brushed. Brushed geared motors. So, it comes with one battery, which is a 1000 milliamp hour 3.7 volt battery, good for about 8 minutes. Slots in the back there, it's actually quite a tight fit. It goes in the bottom there, no optical flow on this. It's just got altitude hold. As you can see it's got a tiltable camera. I actually like the build quality, it's much better on this one than it was on the FQ40 I did a couple of weeks ago. This is new to the market, or oh, it's relatively new, I think I had it on pre-order. And I've already hovered this, I haven't actually flown it but I've hovered it and had a little go with it. And it's so much better than the FQ40. It stays in position. The altitude hold is superb on it. It didn't need trimming out, out of the box like the FQ40 did. So I have quite high hopes for it. So, as you can see, green LEDs at the front, red at the back, and the two lights at the front. There's no back centre LED on this one. And the controller is what everybody seems to have gone for, the fake antenna things, but... I guess I'm just going to have to live with these. Your phone goes in the bottom there, so let me see if I can open it. Sometimes these are so tight to get out. Now this one's actually not too bad. So your phone goes in the bottom here. Give it a pull. That's where your phone goes. If you've got a phone with switches on, you on the side you're going to have a little bit of a problem because mine tends to turn itself off. But at least this one's got some foam on here. A lot of them don't have. So, your button's on the front. You've got one key return. It's not GPS, so it's just going to come back in the general direction it took off from. Headless mode, take off and land, fine tune, so this one's your trim button. Now, it's four position button, but I'm not sure it works because it's not a rocker. So, uh, gyro calibration, emergency stop, speed switch, and flips. The gyro calibration, obviously, before you set off, make sure you just calibrate the gyro. If you press the button in, Turn it on, it'd be better. If you see what it did there when it flashed fast, it did actually calibrate its gyros. But if you want to do it again, so if you land it and it goes a bit wonky, press that button again until they all flash. It'll stop flashing and you're safe to take off. Now, it might be my imagination, but the build quality actually looks better than the Vizio. I've had the Vizio next to it and I think this one's a bit better finished off. The fit and finish of the body's better, the way it's made is a bit better. It seems a bit stronger looking, but it might just be me. I do like the switch on the top. And they have done it to resemble the Mavic. Now if you see it's turned itself off, which is another feature I quite like. So it'll turn itself off, I think it's 30 seconds of non-use. Which is decent, so you can't really just put it away with the battery turned on, and I am guilty of doing that a lot. So it will turn itself off. And to arm, 
it's up and down with the switch as normal. Up and down with your throttle. Oh sorry, no, actually you've got to turn the transmitter on and off when it's done that. You can't accidentally arm it. So, it's a very nice finished off piece of kit. So I have high hopes for it. The instruction manual is, yeah, typical fare, quite cheaply produced, but it seems to have enough information in there. The great thing about this is you don't really need it if you're used to flying because all the switches are labels, which is a nice feature. So, let's go fly it and see what it does and then I'll give you a brief overview of the camera. Okay, welcome back. So you've seen the flight footage, it flies really nice as you've probably seen. Um, I've also recorded the app, so you've got some app footage and some footage from the camera coming up on the video, you'll have seen on the video as well, should I say. The camera's not the best. <laughs> the app to the app, 
but the thing flies amazingly well. I go as far as to say this flies as well, if not better than a video. It's perfectly balanced. It's so stable in the air. And when it's just hovering and it's in the air, you'd actually swear it had GPS. The altitude hold is that good. So unlike the last one I reviewed of, of FQ77, I really recommend this one. It's almost like two different manufacturers made the drones. So yeah, I've got no doubt this retails about 36 quid. The camera, as I say, don't buy it for a camera drone because it's not one, but it's an absolutely beautiful flying drone that's worth the money. You can buy it with, I think you can buy it with two batteries for another four quid. I definitely recommend that. I got nine minutes flight time just now out of it. It is quite a bit, a little bit windy and it's a bit damp, so that might have affected the flight time. So, thanks very much for watching. Have a fantastic day.